Well, hello everyone, welcome to another video. It is me, Desiree, and today is going to be a little update on the plants I purchased from Plant Arena. It's been about two and a half months since I bought the plants, or since they arrived. I think I got them on February 1st, if I'm not mistaken. No, January 1st. How long has it been? January 1st. It was December 1st, so I got three plants from plantarena.com on December 1st. It was a video that I was doing called uh, Subscribers Choose My Plant Haul, and I really, really want to do another one. I had so much fun with that. Um, but uh, yeah, I ended up buying three plants, and I'm just going to give you an update on how they're doing. So one of them has already perished. This plant died right away. I want to say it was less than two weeks, and it was dead. And it's this one. It's the, I know it looks ridiculous because I also dropped it the other day. I was saving it right here on my shelf just to save it for this video and I dropped it and it all fell out of the pot, the soil went everywhere, all the leaves fell off, but it was already dead anyway. This was a uh, Deschidia Million Hearts and I had really wanted this one. Um, I had been seeing it locally here and I was like, oh, that looks really cool. It looks very similar Maybe not exactly the same, but it looks, it has the kind of same growth pattern as a Hoya curtisii, where it's these little tiny hearts on one long vine and they have all these aerial roots coming out of them. And I really wanted this. Uh, obviously it's dry as a bone now, all the leaves turned crispy. And then when it fell off, all these pins exposed themselves. So I'm guessing they had a lot of these pins holding down the vines. I'm guessing as like propagation, there's a bunch of them in here. And those will actually be kind of helpful maybe for uh, string of type of propagations. I say that, but I will never do that. I'm just gonna throw it away. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know what happened to this plant. Uh, it just got crispy right away and it wasn't dry. Like it was moist enough that I thought it didn't need water yet and it was already getting crispy. So I was like, never blind buying from Plantarina again, like right away, you know? But I went and bought another one at a local nursery because I really, really wanted the plant, and look at it. Same exact thing happened. So it's definitely not Plant Arena's fault, it's just the plant that I have no idea how to take care of. There's one little strand here that's still kind of, you could see how it's growing, like look how cute that is. They feel very succulenty, so I kind of thought it wouldn't need water that much, but maybe it needed water much more often than I realized, because like even now, these little pieces feel pretty hard, so in my mind, if a plant is like succulenty and the leaves are really firm, I'm not gonna water it yet, even if it's dry. But with this one, it got crispy right away. So I don't know. If you have a Deschidia Million Hearts, let me know how you're taking care of it because obviously I have no idea what I'm doing. But yeah, this plant, um, goodbye. That plant is being evicted. And I will not buy another one until I, maybe I should do some research on it. I guess I kind of thought I would just know how to take care of it. I don't know. Good thing I didn't buy uh, another Deschidia that's like on my wish list kind of is the Deschidia Dragon Jade. But if I couldn't even keep this one alive, I'm not going to pay more money for that one and then have it just crispy and dead within two weeks. You know what I mean? So that's the first plant I bought. Kind of a dud, but I don't think it was their fault. It was mine. I didn't know how to take care of the plant. Um, the second one I bought is the alocasia called Tiny Dancer. I love this one. I did just kind of put it inside a pot here. It's not potted in here, it's still in its nursery pot. And they do put this like straw stuff on the top of their plants to help the soil stay intact during transit. But I think it looks kind of cool, so I kept it there. And I think it really helps like retain the moisture for some reason. I don't know, maybe just it's not evaporating as fast. Also, I just think it looks cool. And this is how the plant looks. It's very different from every other alocasia I've ever seen because the leaves are so small. And I think if you really like alocasia but you don't have the space to have one, because a lot of the time the plant sprawls out all crazy, the leaves are kind of big. So if you like them, but you don't have room for a really big one, this is a really good one because it stays small like this. So the leaves are very, very cute. They all just stand pretty much straight up. And they're just, it's just nice. I really like it. This plant's doing well um, as far as watering and stuff. I do have it on my table right there, right underneath the west facing window with pretty much all my other alocasias are there as well. So they get pretty decent light throughout the day. I don't let it get dry as a bone because this one will get crispy and the leaves will die very quickly. It's almost as finicky as a fern. Maybe not as finicky, but they don't like to be dry is what I'm trying to say. But I like it. I think it's very cool, very cute. So far, no pests. I was just looking at it right before the video like... 
You know, sometimes you might see something, but then it's nothing. Like you're trying to make yourself see a pest on it. But I think it's it's just dust or something. But yeah, super cute. That one's doing very well. And then the last plant I bought is this, the Syngonium Frosted Heart. And I didn't even know Syngonium could look like this because all the Syngoniums I've ever seen are like the arrowhead shaped leaves. But, you know, there's a million varieties out there and I'm sure there are some that I will never even hear about because there's so many. But this one has more of like a heart shape, like a very soft heart shaped leaf. They feel really nice. They almost feel fake, like it feels fake. It looks like plastic. And I think if I just saw this sitting in someone's house with the straw on top of it, I would think that's a fake plant for sure, just based on how it feels. Um, it feels very like fabric-y, plastic -y, like I was saying. It has a beautiful variegation on it. I mean, look at those veins. It's so pretty. Love the shape, love the growth pattern of this one. It's super pretty. It did come with the stick in it, so I've just been kind of leaning the vine on here. So hopefully it'll grow up this way. Um, I did keep the straw on here as well. It's also still in the nursery pot, but I set it inside of one of these little, um, it's just like a planter holder that I got from Target. I showed this in my Target haul. Let me see if I can take it out for you. It's just like a, I don't know what this is made out of. Uh, I have no clue. What is this made out of? I don't know what it's made out of, like branches or something, but it's very, very pretty. And I just kind of set the plant in it just like that. And I love this one a lot. Again, with this one, I do let this one get all the way dry though, but from what I have gathered over my time with Syngoniums, they don't like to stay dry right away. They'll start like kind of wilting. Um, I did let this one get all the way dry the other day though, and it was wilted, it was sad, it was falling over, but it perked right back up and none of the leaves seem to have been affected, fingers crossed. Uh, but I try not to let this one stay dry, you know, as dry as a bone. Uh, lighting, I do have this in my front room, north facing windows. It gets nice ambient light throughout the day and it seems to do just fine with that. I love this one so, so much. If you, if you don't like Syngonium because you don't like those arrowhead leaves and they all kind of look the same, this one is so beautiful. I think it's easier to take care of than the regular arrowhead Syngonium. This one I kind of feel like it's a pothos almost, like it's just water it when it's dry and it'll do just fine anywhere in your house. I love this one. I would buy this one again. I love it so, so much. It's one that I want to propagate. It's one I just want to have all over my house. I'm like loving it so much. So, Syngonium doing well, Alocasia Tiny Dancer doing well. I don't think this one's put out any new leaves or anything. It's only been a month and a half or two months-ish. Um, and then the Deschidia, this one here, it, you know, it was not long for this world. It wasn't meant, it wasn't meant to be here. But that one, I don't know. If you have care tips on the Deschidia, let me know, because I do want another one. I think they're very cute. I just have no clue what I'm doing. But that is it. That is my little plant arena haul update, how the plants are doing. Uh, let me know what you think. And if you have any of these plants, especially the Deschidia, let us know the care tips in the comment section down below. I know I would appreciate it. Uh, but that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss my next one. And I will see you later in another video. Goodbye.